Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm doing more outdoor stuff since the weather's nicer. So here's the issue. We've got a, an outdoor wireless camera. It could be an access point, it could be anything, it doesn't matter. It's a wireless endpoint. And all of a sudden it uh, drops off the network, bad response times, all the kind of stuff. So immediately people start checking all the obvious stuff. Let's check the signal strength, signal noise ratio. Let's check the access point, how well it hears it. It's not hearing it well either. So let's check the firmware, blah, 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 all this remote stuff, which is fine. But at some point, they run out of ideas. And I happened to be there, and they said, hey, so what would you do? And I said, how about go for a walk? Have you physically gone out there? And no, of course not. For many reasons, sometimes you're not physically close to it or, or whatever. Now, in this case, we're able to go out to see it. I even asked them uh, at the end of all this, just kind of cut to the chase, I asked them if I could have the camera to bring back and test as well, because it was kind of a, an interesting little problem. So I set it up here at my place and we got the same problem. And guess what? We went for a walk and I'm gonna show you what I found. So this is your typical uh, camera that people are buying these days and putting them outside the businesses, homes, whatever. Uh, the vendor's irrelevant, this is not a vendor issue. Uh, what happened here was it's outside. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but the um, antenna, there's a little cover that usually goes on this thing it came off, it fell off, whatever the case may be. Uh, there's an example of the way one should look like. And now the uh, element's exposed. 90% uh, of the time it's not much of an issue until it rains or you get moisture, you know, humidity, fog, that kind of stuff. And then it seeps in and you get some odd problems here and there. Again, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's also some rust here on the connector. And that's because, again, these things are just the way they are. I always try to put some dielectric gel on this and when I can I put a heat shrink on it as well. And then if you ever have to take it off, you just exacto knife, just carefully cut it and it comes off, but it does a really good job to seal it up. So that's what we're going to do now. Again, I don't know how well you can see this or not, but upon closer inspection, there's also cracks on the plastic just from being outside, UV, that kind of stuff. So it's always nice if uh, you do have outdoor stuff, set up some kind of procedure, policy, methodology, whatever you want to call it, to go check on these things visually once in a while. So now I cut the heat shrink. I've got a little bit of dielectric gel, or as we say with this company, we goop it in the field. Uh, basically just a little bit of heat, not much. Don't keep it there a long time for obvious reasons. Sometimes use a heat gun when I can, um, but that's it. It's pretty well done now. I just slowly go over it a few times. Again, try to make sure if there's breeze, you shelter it or get those little pocket torches that's it done i'm gonna go back and check out my ping times and or signal strength because i also put a antenna with um i'm gonna say at a better specs at a higher gain i would have preferred a directional antenna but all we got are these little omnis so we're gonna just work with what we got all right so i'm back in the office let's compare the results uh before and after I'm trying the miracle of technology to see if two boxes pop up beside me. <laughs> Anyways, so the before is obviously um, not stable or consistent. That's what's important when you look at a ping. The other thing about the ping is I put data in the packet. So I did a dash L 900 or length 900. Um, I don't like using small packet size, a whole other ping thing I do. Uh, but you can clearly see from the ping, things are better. We also check the signal strength from the access point. Before we were in mid 70s to high 80s, now we're down to low 50s, consistently in the low 50s, like 53, 54, 5, 4, 3, 2, that kind of thing, all right? So obviously the antenna change helped a lot. Enjoy.